Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. I hope you are all as excited as I am to start the final case of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I have no idea what to expect here. That's good. This is... I don't want to overhype it, but this is my favorite case in the game. Okay. It's very well done. Oh, duh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and then we are on episode five, Rise from the Ashes. As, <laughs> as I mentioned last time, this case was not in the original release of the game. This was added for the 2005 re-release on the DS in America. I think it was also in the Japan version of the okay. DS game as well. And you're going to see it's... Considerably different from the other cases, it's more advanced because it was made for the DS rather than the Game Boy Advance. And just the opening cutscene, you're going to see it's much higher quality. Let's begin in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. Oh man, look at those DS graphics, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. Oh. Really good graphics. <laughs> But who's doing? Oh, there's two. Maybe not. What? Double murder? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Hey, what's up? Was that a toy? It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. Is he alive? I've had offers, but none I took. What? That is, until the day that girl showed up. Oh, who's the gal? <laughs> who's the lucky lady? Who's the lucky February lady? February <laughs> 22nd, 10.02 a.m., Wright and Company Law Offices. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. This is you. There you are, finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow! I'm trying to think of what to do for this. I, I can't really help you there. Yeah, I know. Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. You're the famous defense attorney, Mia Faye! Is this another one of Maya's sisters? <laughs> oh, uh, you're not Mia Faye, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Faye no longer works here. So you are... the coffee boy? Gee, thanks. <laughs> I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right. Right. Wait! You are THE Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please? I'm out of time. But... Please, you have to help. It's my sister. Again? Hmm? Yeah. Maya? Could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. R really Thank you so much! My name's Emma, Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Alright, so. Hey boy, howdy! Em I'm em also Emma a is ar Emma's arguably one of my favorite characters in the series. Oh, really? That's cool. I also, I really like her design in general. Yeah, she looks very nice. See this? It's my attorney's badge! Ah, well. I've never seen a real one before. Okay, any pose where she's got her glasses on, like, ah. she looks super cute. She does. <laughs> You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> this, comp this composition is mostly silver. The gold plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it. Scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfites. I'll give you $50 for it. <laughs> I especially love this animation. <laughs> I'll just give her my normal voice, I guess. Sorry, I but it's not for sale. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> how the heck- Okay, so if Phoenix is not working, how the heck is he paying the bills? He's still getting Edgeworth to pay for it for the wow. last- I don't know, I don't know. Like, I don't know. 
Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planting a second branch outside the city. Yes! Yeah, the bellboy was staring right at me! <laughs> That's awesome. Mia's plant, Charlie. I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Aw, oh, that's nice. Okay, considering something happened to Emma's sister, she's pretty calm. That's true. She's like, hey, I'll give you 50 bucks for your badge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a poster of the Steel Samurai on the wall. Maya stuck it up there on the day that she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. I do sometimes get strange looks from the clients, though. <laughs> that is funny. Difficult-looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. <laughs> I tried reading one, and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then my foot hurt, too. Oh. Oh, gosh. We've seen that before. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of uh, jumpy. Or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Holy cow, that's Oh, young. I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned... What? Forens Forens Forensics? Forensics? Okay. In three more years. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking... I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. <laughs> but I'm ready to do my job. At my age, no less. Great. Another future professional in training. She's really smart, then. That's yep. cool. So what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring me a fae, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? My sister asked for her specifically. Mia Fay. It was a few years below her in school. So she went to the same school as Mia? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman? Mia, yeah. I thought it was a little strange when I saw you, too. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Hmm? Well... Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But... but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Of course. Everybody's parents died in this, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I might know what her sister looks like. Really? I might. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know how, though. So you want to be a scientific anime. investigator when you she grow up, then? in the opening theme. I'm not, I'm not positive, though. Okay. Excuse me? I'm not a child! I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Um, yeah. Sure you can't lack to- sure can't falter for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. My only other voice option that I was like, maybe, is like, she's almost reminding me of like a Luna Lovegood. She's not a and Luna And she's Lovegood. not. Like, once, she's I, not. once I heard her, I was like, oh, no. Technically speaking, it must be this. No, that's definitely <laughs> yeah, that's not, not her Emma. At all. February 22nd, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. This is also you. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S -s Sorry, ma'am. It's j just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want a raise this year, hmm? Oh, this is not the voice yeah, I, I expected. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, understood, ma'am. I don't know oh. until I see her. Alright, well. What, what, what was that all about? Huh? huh? Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. 
L look I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Okay, when I first saw her, because she's got her back to us. Oh, she's got her back. Yeah. I thought her I, hair was in the front. Yeah, so did I when I first saw her. Okay, that's why I was, that makes way more sense. Because I was like, wait. I thought she was just like super goth, like had her hair no, way I thought, over her eyes. My immediate thought is I'm like, oh, is she a serial killer? Like, you know how like in the weird, there's like yeah, the yeah. thing with like the girl with her hair on and she's like, yeah. ah, like that sort of thing. That makes way more sense. Yeah. So once I see her, it'll probably be better. Oh, yeah. she's like a noble woman. <laughs> Isn't that right, right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Skye. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Y you're a prosecutor? Yes, yeah, so remember in case two when White called the chief prosecutor? That was this woman. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Y you're a prosecutor? Wow. For a sec, she looked like Marth. Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... She even looks similar. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Oh boy. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's frozen in fear of the frigid Miss Lana. I'm feeling a bit chilly myself. Then never mind, this was not who I was thinking of. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your badge looks new. I polish it daily. In a few years, the gold plating will flake off. Then we'll see the real you. Gah! Whatever happened to innocent small talk? Give it three years, then we'll see what you have become. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hearing that now, knowing what I know, I'm like, wow, that's interesting. There's something you should know from the start. W which is... The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? W wait! But the suspect- the suspect is- Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15pm. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's disposition. Deposition? Deposition. Yeah, I, I just realized there was mm -hmm. no S. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in, underground par in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. My, my. Oh, boy. So, who is the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have found me guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. This does sound just nasty. So you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do their job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities, in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana, what, what happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident, and when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, She correct? looks really similar to Mia. It's the eyes. Yeah, that's intentional. Okay. A few years above her? 
Emma told you that too, didn't she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I was in about my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Yeah, uh, well, it makes sense, because Mia was very dedicated to bringing down White, so... Yeah. I excuse me? Intellectually attractive. Mono was top of her class in school. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school, too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? I excuse me? As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say, there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but Lana! You, you were always this way, weren't you? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I... I HATE YOU, LANA! Mr. Wright? Y yes I believe our discussion here is ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. This case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. This is literally just, like, a challenge. She's probably like... <laughs> no, she's probably like, alright, I gotta test this guy. And just, like, <laughs> give him the most ridiculous case ever. And then they're like, oh, okay, I, I'm, I look a little like Mia. Alright, I found my sister. Or found this chick to play my sister. Okay, that's, that, that's very... That's shot. That's a very interesting theory. That's mine, at least. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. All Everything that, all that's what to do. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for that. Let's go to the underground parking lot. <laughs> Crosswire motors. <laughs> February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. With the security. So this is the lot where it all happened? Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work! H hey what are you thinking? Well, they are going to my be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out too much here, see? Hey there. You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? But partner <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck is this? <laughs> what do we have here? I wasn't expecting a literal cowboy. <laughs> Looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down there, partner. What the heck? <laughs> Mr. Marshall! <laughs> <laughs> Marshall? Looks more like a sheriff to me. Looky here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But, this is my game's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory. And the gold mine is evidence. Is he a detective? <laughs> Maybe. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? What's this guy talking about? You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. <laughs> you 
Was that a uh, ombre, a friend of yours? <laughs> uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. He's a detective. Okay, what detective dresses that way? She's like, yeah. howdy, partner. Looks like the little bambina from the West is coming. <laughs> Who does this? Him. He's like, he's like in an underground. Welcome to Ace thing. Attorney, Marty. Jeez. Ace Attorney's weird. Oh yeah, like, of course it is. But that's the first like, oh, this is a detective that's dressing weird. Like all the others, like the dude, the um, you mean Grossberg the... was. Normal. He's not a detective. Like, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Grossberg was normal, and then like, um, Detective Gumshoe was pretty normal, and like the security lady was semi-normal. Like no, she was, but was everyone not. Everyone was dressed normally, and then there was okay. like my uh, April May. Who All was, right, like, well, parts. every game in the series basically gets progressively weirder and more okay, eccentric characters, more and because this was made after the first three games, hence, it just gets oh, weird. yeah, it's really weird compared to the rest. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West? It seems. Aha! A ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. S scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. I'm still struggling with her voice. I don't know what to do other than my own. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything! My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did I ju what did you just say? See? You can hear just fine! The phone's broken! <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> no clues here. <laughs> What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer? W wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. Don't believe it! This is a real, basic, anything in a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Wallet hastily stuffed into pocket. <laughs> I'm called to duty already at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now. Look at the court record. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now, let's start examining from every angle. Yeah, so we get this now. Oh, look! I think there might be a clue there. You should check it out. Press the examine button. Yeah, so now we, when we get evidence, we can actually examine it from all different like, angles and be like, Oh, what's on the back? Oh, here. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, and you can tell this is DS? This, this is an ID card. Detective Bruce Goodman, ID <laughs> number 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. Though I don't see what science has to do with it. Goodman's ID added to the court record. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. It sounds weird to hear this music and not have the old bag in front of us. <laughs> it's true. This is just the generic investigation okay. theme, though. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose? <laughs> the theory of relativity. What? Uh... I've got to write this down. Ah, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity German, or was he British? Mr. Relativity? Are you sure that was his name? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy! I can't even budge it! The drum over here is on its side. Wait! I know! I'll hide in here and do a stakeout! I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the old drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious! <laughs> well, I mean, we're at a crime scene, we're not supposed oh, to be- Oh, look at that car! Ooh, look at that car. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. The sheriff! Like I said before, this here's our claim. You'd best be moseying along, unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. Why is his name not up there? Gah! Scary! C 
Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? <laughs> well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? P please No problem, partner. About time for vittles, anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. <laughs> the prospector's office, I'm sorry. <laughs> Might just you find you as Cerese, you know. Prospector's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? <laughs> Note to self. Look up Fiddle's saloon, Cerese. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. This is basically me in chemistry, the character. <laughs> like, literally. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, we need to have this thing written down. Mm -hmm. Hey, toss me that vial. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off our claim. Right. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Oh, this is you as well. Excuse me? Were the two of you all set? Us? What in the world? <laughs> I feel like she looks fairly normal. What's okay, this? Okay, put her dress. She couldn't be. Y you're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene. Hello? Half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Uh, yes? Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passers-by. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you... You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days are cough-up queen Whoa, and... are over. Up. Sorry. <laughs> cough up? Huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned in my eyes, you may say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Interesting voice you're getting here. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder, stabbing of that detective. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, this, cough up queen. This is me. Oh, sorry. Please, cough up queen, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes ma'am! Yipes, she means it. Okay, so gotta ask you, does this woman remind you of anybody who you know? Oh, this is who you were referring to earlier? Um... <laughs> and this is the one where it's like, I feel like everyone's gonna be, um, no, no. what are you even talking about? Don't... Why does she... Oh my gosh, she has rice balls on her head. I That's never, amazing. I never noticed she had rice balls on her head That's before. amazing. That's crazy. And I'm... Okay, I don't have... I wouldn't be, like, looking at it like, oh yeah, it's this person that we know. Right. I, I wouldn't know. And honestly, for me, it's more about her personality, her hair, and, like... Her expression on her face when she does like, the hair flip with like the lowered eye. I don't know who that would be. You don't? You can tell me and then and no. Yeah, okay. I don't, I have no idea why. I always think this girl will be like, wow, she reminds me so much of <laughs> No! Absolutely <laughs> not. No, because this blonde hair. So does she! Okay, this well, kind no, of. she doesn't, she's brown hair. That's that's blondish brown. That is brown. That's blondish brown. That's my color of my hair, man. No, you was just darker. It's just under a different light. But okay, to me, okay. like looking at her, if it was anyone from our church, it'd be like Molly. What? No, not at all. Because it's the curly hair. Otherwise, Mo Molly didn't have curly hair. Yes, she did. She, she had she straight hair. hair. She had curly hair. When did you go to church? Like four. I remember, I was like really little. I hardly okay, remember. Okay, well. Anyway. Okay, part of it, when I play on the actual DS, it looks blonder than that. Okay, that makes more sense. And it's more like, if it come on, she's got the sass. She's got like... The... Wow. <laughs> no, I mean... Okay, well... All right, anyway, Ele Elementation yeah. Hero, I know you're watching this. You've, you've got to be the tiebreaker. <laughs> Does this remind you of Sarah from our old church? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want to know. I might just be crazy. Let's talk. No, let's present, present our badge. 
A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about ta like how about tackling Luncheon's pickle supreme lunchbox? Ew, I've never seen that lunchbox before, and that Ew. looks gross. Wow, it's really crunchy! You ate it, Emma! Why? <laughs> a box of pickles? Kind of a sad lunch, if you ask me. Yeah, I agree. About this card. Lunch and vendors only accept cash. No cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine honey ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? <sighs> Somehow I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know the daily special of Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know them. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of iniquity. Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the names of innocents. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. <laughs> I would not go to Prosecutor Con myself. Prosecutor Con! <laughs> the only way I would go is if I could dress up as a prosecutor from a Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. That's illegal. Uh, do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence for this, um, evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough-up queen. Yeah, come on, that facial expression. There, there's no, there's no mistake in it, right? No! I have, okay, but I didn't know her very well. That's, okay, that's fair. I, I was, I was in her Sunday school class for, like, okay. several years. Yeah, I didn't talk to her much. Alright, fair enough. Ew! I th okay, at least the other one, I'm pretty sure you'll agree. Okay. <laughs> the most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all! <laughs> R really Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. So, what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so... Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. Y you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Basically, this is my Luna. <laughs> she's, she's so weird! She's also definitely not a Luna, but that's but, just me. Yeah. Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No. Only true connoisseurs can understand. Or connoisseurs, I don't know. Ew. Kind you can only tell someone who's tried General Tso's Trillbite lunch set. Uh, never mind. You win. That looked gross. <laughs> I don't even want to appreciate part of a tr Trillbite's flavor. <laughs> anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Y your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass small booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. 
Well, duh! So, to scientifically <laughs> analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. <laughs> Did you have a bad experience of a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha! Huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now that you're talking, cough up, Queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Yes, yeah, she's definitely an interesting character. Alright, so I totally forgot that there was a lot more to this investigation than there was, so I think we're gonna have to break it up into two videos. Alright, And we fun. can put a stopping point here, so thanks for watching, everybody. Artie and Marty will be back next time. We'll wrap up the investigation, and we'll be going to court the next day. So All right. Cool. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.